Welcome back, Nerd Squad. My name is Ray Destroyer, and this is Top 10 Nerd. I don't know about you guys, but I love scary movies. Whether it's horror or thriller or just something really dark and obscure, scary movies are in a league of their own. That being said, I'm also from the camp that sometimes the crappier a scary movie is, the better. So let's take a look at the top 10 scary superhero movies. Stuff that maybe you should think twice before letting your kids see, but should definitely dive in yourself. Number 10 spot, we have Darkman. This 1990 film is based on a short story Sam Raimi wrote to pay respect to universal horror films of 1930s. It is a tale of Dr. Peyton Westlake, a scientist who is developing synthetic skin for medical purposes. I mean, really, what other purpose would there be to make synthetic skin? The doctor is attacked by a gang who dip him in acid and explode his lab. Peyton survives, but the recovery process involves cutting his nerves and dealing with his hideous burns. Oh, and seeking revenge, of course. You can tell by the premise the film has some creepy and and shall I say, dark undertones. Coming in at number 9 is Daredevil. The 2003 movie Daredevil focused on Matt Murdock, a lawyer who was blinded by acid as a child and had his senses enhanced because of it. After his father is murdered, he sets off to fight for justice, dubbing himself Daredevil. The film is credited for its dramatic depth and is said to resemble a Greek tragedy, which is not everyone's cup of tea, too brooding for some people. It was also extremely violent and banned in Malaysia because of its disturbing scenes, but sometimes the darkness and violence are Perfect for a chill Friday night in. Next in number 8 we got Spawn. While it may not be the best rated creepy superhero movie, 1997 Spawn was over violent and ventured down a very dark path. Not something superhero movies tended to do back then. The story follows Al Simmons who is murdered and sent to hell, where he agrees to serve in the army of Armageddon for a chance to return to his life. The original film was so violent and disturbing that it was slapped with an R rating and had to be cut down to get the PG-13 rating. But for the remake that has been announced in July of this year, creator Todd McFarlane Harlan promises to learn from his mistakes and keep the movie in all its horror glory. In the number 7 spot is Blade. 1998 brought us this film, which featured a vampire hunter named Blade, who was the result of his mother getting attacked by a vampire while giving birth. If you were looking for ghoulish vampires with a superhero twist and none of that sparkly stuff, this is your film. The movie was credited for its unique costuming and sets, as well as its awesome shadowing and camera angle work. And we are in the works for a 2018 reboot, which is said to be much closer to the source comic material, as well as even darker and more violent. Coming in at number 6 we have Hellboy. This 2004 dark fantasy was centered around an infant demon whose name is Hellboy. He was conjured by Nazis in the 1940s, but ends up serving the good of humanity. The film was described as eerie and distinct, with a closeness to the source material that is oftentimes lacking in superhero films. It also has some humor worked in, always a good thing when throwing in all the spooky stuff. Next up at number 5 is Spider-Man 3. Stick with me here kids. Peter Parker's suit is infected by the Venom symbiote and brings out the darker side of our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, but that doesn't exactly scream scary movie. In fact, the 2007 movie itself wasn't scary. What was scary is what they did with it. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Packing in way too many villains, convoluting storylines, and the scariest moments, that jazz club scene. A scene that still replays in my nightmares. <laughs> What's wrong with you? You. A scarily far cry from the first two Spider-Man films. Up next at number 4 is The Dark Knight. 2008 was a great year for Batman as it was the year The Dark Knight was released, one of the most memorable superhero movies I've seen. And the film featured none other than the Joker, a character worthy of any horror movie. But while the movie was dark and haunted, what made it even scarier to watch are the rumors that still float around about Heath Ledger. Did the role of the Joker drive him to insanity? While it may not be true, it's still eerie to watch the movie and think about the power of the role and how he mastered it. In the number 3 spot we have Chronicle. This 2012 movie follows the lives of 3 high school kids who discover a substance that grants them telekinetic powers. The movie starts off lightheartedly enough with the boys testing out these cool new abilities, but quickly moves to dark and twisted places when they realize exactly how far they can go with these powers. The movie is found footage style which gives it a creepier feel and if you're squeamish about nosebleeds, consider yourself warned. Coming in at number 2 is Swamp Thing. I know I have previously said that this 1982 movie was no good 
and that we needed a reboot, but it has grown into a cult classic and it is truly a scary superhero movie worthy of mention. The story goes Alec Holland was working in his lab when the lab was attacked, during which Alec is covered in hazardous material and leaps into a swamp to escape, becoming Swamp Thing. It's a classic old school horror story. It's campy, it's creepy, what more can we ask of a monster movie? And finally in the number one spot we've got The Crow. The top of our list is 1994's The Crow, an emotionally dark and vivid movie centered on musician Eric Draven, who is resurrected from death to avenge the pre-wedding murder of him and his fiance. The film is widely praised for bringing to life a melancholic, gothic and moody world with a compelling storyline. Another part of the creepy undertones is the fact that Crow actor Brandon Lee was accidentally shot dead on set. The ending of the movie hadn't even been filmed yet and the whole project was almost put to a stop. So those were the top 10 scary superhero movies. Let me know in the comment section down below what superhero you think should get its own horror film. My name is Roya Destroya, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss another nerdy list.